The infrastructure in America is constantly aging. A lot of the first wastewater plants were installed in the 20s. A lot of those plants have reached their capacity and need to be upgraded. More often than not, we're seeing a new plant is required. Springfield, they built an entirely new plant across the street from the plant that was constructed in 1929. I've got a sense of pride in this. To be able to build a new plant like this and get it constructed, it's you know, once in a lifetime. We serve about 100,000 people with this plant, which is about two-thirds of the district's population. We worked a lot with Crawford, Murphy & Tilly. They were our design engineers. We basically were taking them an entire century forward. We were going from 1928. They had no automation in the facility whatsoever, and we actually put it online in 2012. We all walked side by side, hand in hand, for a six year period, from planning through design and then through construction. It's a large $120 million project. To watch it come up from out of the ground, concrete work, the piping, it was really exciting. You're gonna have a unique design criteria for every situation, and the ability to work with knowledgeable people that can help you come up with the best solution, it's huge in the long term to go with a quality piece of equipment like a pent air pump is going to pay for itself over and over again. The last thing you want is to be paying just slightly less for a little lesser impeller quality or material quality and then in the long run you're taking that out of service and you're doing so much more work on it. So we knew we wanted local pumps manufactured in the United States. We wanted someone who had been making them for a long time that we were pretty certain we could get the parts and everything in the future because we had situations where I try and get parts for a pump station that was built in 1972. We had to call England and find out if they will cast us the parts we need. It might be a five, six, seven, eight month wait, but with Pentair, we've never had a problem getting any of the parts we need. They count on us first to deliver the product that's going to fit their needs, then training to properly operate within the operating range, and then they need the support. Pump Services comes in years down the road when it's time for these pumps to be rehabbed. These two stations never turn off. Eventually, pumps need to be serviced. We help them with their parts. They have a fully staffed maintenance crew who are capable and have the experience to repair these pumps. One of the things that I've learned over my career is that the long-term relationship is probably one of the most important criteria when I'm looking at who I'm going to specify because everybody's happy to sell their products, manufacture their products, but it's that long-term. I know that CMT has been working with Pentair for 50 and 75 years, so I know that relationship's there and we've got that solid, solid understanding.